So for this test, the patient is asked to lie in supine with the hip flexed uh, to 45 degrees and it's the knee flexed to 90 degrees. Now the therapist need to hold the distal end of the ankle, grasp the posterior aspect of the tibia. With the thumb, he tries to palpate the joint line of the knee. So now you have to do first the PCL um, posterior cruciate ligament testing. So for that what you do, you try and posteriorly translate the tibia, apply a pressure and look for if there is any posterior translation of tibia. And if there is a PCL injury, then you, the sulcus sign may appear and you can see that there is a sulcus or depression at the um, femoral condyle, distal end of the femoral condyle. So now, if the test is positive, then it is possibly because of posterior cruciate ligament injury. Suppose if there is no posterior cruciate ligament injury, then you try the anterior cruciate ligament. Um, so for this you do the anterior draw test. So here you hold this one and try to pull the um, tibia proximally. So whenever you try to pull the tibia proximally, it's very important to find if there is anterior translation of tibia, then it's a positive indication of anterior cruciate ligament injury. So two things you need to remember. So whenever you try to do a posterior cruciate ligament, you make sure that the quadriceps is relaxed. If the quadriceps is contracting, what happens is that this will pull the tibia anteriorly and it will not allow the tibia to go posterior. So that's a very important thing you need to remember. The same thing, whenever you do an anterior draw of the tibia, you need to make sure that the hamstring muscles are relaxed. It will allow the anterior translation of tibia. So these two muscles should be relaxed for the, um, the joints, to, the test to be performed perfectly.